What you put your attention on grows. I repeat, what you put your attention on grows. If you think about this, even in golf, whenever you focus on what you don't want instead of what you do want, guess what? That's where the ball goes. So I find it right now especially important to be in the state of gratitude. Focus on what you have that's good and all the things that you want to bring into your life. Don't focus on the negative. It's not helpful. I would like to share a parable with you. Um, it was shared with me about two months ago. Uh, pardon my reading, I can't memorize all this, but um, I think it's a very powerful story and I think it will help. So here goes. There was a king and he once said to the court sages, I have a ring with one of the finest, finest diamonds in the world. And I want to hide a message under the stone that can be useful in a situation of extreme despair. I will give this ring to my heirs and I want it to serve faithfully. Think of what kind of message will be there. It must be very short to fit in the ring. The sages knew how to write treatises but did not express themselves in one short sentence. They thought and they thought, but they didn't come up with anything. The king complained about the failure of his venture to a faithful old servant who raised him from infancy and was part of the family. And the old man said to him, I'm not a sage, I'm not educated, but I know such a message. For many years spent in the palace, I met a lot of people. And once I served a visiting mystic whom your father invited, and he gave me this message. I ask that you don't read it now. Save it under the stone and open it only when there's no way out. The king listened to the old servant. After some time, the enemies attacked the country and the king lost the war. He fled on his horse and his enemies pursued him. He was alone. His enemies were many. He rode to the end of the road where there was a huge deep cliff before him. If he fell there, it would be the end. He could not go back as the enemies were approaching. He already heard the clatter of horse hooves. He had no way out. He was in complete despair. And then he remembered the ring. He opened it and found an inscription. This too shall pass. After reading the message, he felt that everything was quiet. Apparently, the pursuers got lost and proceeded in the wrong directions. His horse was no long, horses were no longer heard. The king was filled with gratitude to the servant and the known unknown mystic, the words were powerful. He closed the ring and set out on the road. He gathered his army and returned to his state. On the day when he returned to the palace, he arranged a magnificent meeting, a feast for the whole world. The people loved their king and the king was happy and proud. An old servant came up to him and said softly, even in this moment, Look at the message again. The king said, now I'm a winner. People are celebrating my return. I'm not in despair. I'm not in a hopeless situation. Listen to this old servant, the servant answered. This message works not only in moments when everything is bad, but also in victory. The king opened the ring and read again, this too shall pass. And again, he felt a silence fall over him, although he was in the midst of a noisy dancing crowd. His pride dissolved. He understood the message. He was a wise man. And the old man said to the king, do you remember everything that happened to you? Nothing and no feeling is permanent. As night changes day, so moments of joy and despair replace each other. Accept them as a nature of things, as part of life. I hope that this story was helpful to you. I know it has been for me. And thank you for listening. This is Lisa Shermerhorn.